Recently, CBS faced backlash over an interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle that left viewers puzzled about its true purpose. This confusion was compounded by an unexpected leak of behind-the-scenes footage, revealing the couple's visible tension during the segment. The interview was initially framed as an opportunity for Markle to discuss her struggles, including her claims of suicidal thoughts. However, as viewers watched, it became evident that what was being portrayed was not a heartfelt conversation, but rather an uncomfortable on-screen confrontation. During the interview, Markle appeared to be making a desperate attempt to draw attention back to herself, discussing her mental health issues while Harry seemed reluctant and distracted. This dynamic suggested an underlying tension, with Harry seemingly trying to adhere to a narrative that Meghan was determined to sidestep. Their interaction hinted at deeper issues within the relationship, suggesting that rather than a supportive partnership, the interview showcased a couple grappling with unspoken disagreements. Reports indicate that explosive arguments occurred behind the scenes after the interview, further highlighting the disarray surrounding the public appearance. The intended message about mental health and the network's parental initiatives was overshadowed by what appeared to be a significant disagreement between the two. As Meghan attempted to highlight her past struggles, it became clear that the interview had devolved into a display of emotional strain rather than a constructive dialogue. In an unexpected twist, the source connected to the CBS interview revealed that Markle was asked why she hadn't sought help from Harry, who's been deeply involved in mental health advocacy and has personal experience with therapy. This cruel question, however, was seemingly ignored during the televised segment, leaving viewers to wonder about its implications. This omission raises questions about the authenticity of Markle's narrative. If she truly felt suicidal, why did she not reach out to a partner who's openly discussed mental health issues? Furthermore, the absence of Harry's input on the matter paints a troubling picture of their relationship dynamics. During the interview, he appeared uncomfortable, fiddling with his jacket and avoiding eye contact when the question about seeking help arose. Meanwhile, Meghan clutched his knee, signalling a mix of desperation and control. Critics argue that this manipulation of emotions detracts from genuine discussions about mental health. Markle's tendency to centre herself in conversations, particularly about serious issues, suggests a narrative crafted for public sympathy rather than a sincere reflection on her struggles. Many observers believe that her claims of suicidal thoughts are not only exaggerated but also strategically employed to garner attention and pity. The extended footage that remains unseen has left many questioning the true story behind the couple's struggles. CBS's reluctance to release this content is telling. It could have provided a deeper understanding of the context surrounding Meghan's claims. The censorship raises suspicions that the network may be trying to protect the image of the royal couple, or conversely maintain the intrigue surrounding the narrative. As discussions about mental health become increasingly prominent in society, the integrity of those conversations is paramount. It's essential that such serious topics are approached with honesty and respect, rather than exploited for personal gain. The conflicting narratives presented by Meghan and Harry during the interview leave many sceptical of their intentions and the veracity of their claims.